we are going to talk about a topic today and the wheel is going to choose it. Ready? Let's do it. Okay. Today we are talking about the third stage of labor. Third stage of labor. This might be a term that you're not familiar with, though you might be familiar with um, what's involved in the third stage of labor. So the third stage of labor is the birth or delivery, you might hear it either way, of the placenta. So the first stage of labor is our dilation, effacement, and opening of our cervix. And then once the cervix is totally thin, totally opened, then we go move on to our second stage of labor, and that is the pushing stage, when we're actively pushing out the baby. And then our third stage of labor is the delivery or birth of the placenta. So I actually have nearby my childbirth ed tools. It's a stage that is kind of, um, I don't know, not discussed as much, you know, this part, the baby, and dilation and effacement and pushing is generally the first and st second stage of labor is generally the part that we focus on when we learn about labor, when we talk about it. But along with the baby, we get a placenta. So these are some of my childbirth teaching tools. Here is our placenta and we have an umbilical cord like this. So the third stage of labor is when our placenta is um, the first thing it has to do is detach from the wall of our cervix, uh, the wall of our uterus. So the placenta is attached inside the uterus, and through a series of hormones, the after the baby is born, the body tells the placenta that it's no longer needed, and that where it's attached to the wall of the uterus, and it detaches. Now, this usually happens within the first, say, of, I think it's about, generally about five to 30 minutes after the birth of the baby, the placenta detaches. And there are a couple of things that happen when the placenta detaches. Uh, first of all, there is often a small gush of blood that, ha that can be seen to, to come out um, and your, if your care provider is watching, your midwife or your OB, they will notice uh, a trickle of blood sometimes can indita indicate that the placenta has detached. Uh, also, sometimes when the placenta detaches and kind of drops down in the uterus, is pushing, not pushing, but the weight of the placenta is on the cervix. And sometimes the um, person, the, the birthing person will feel like that urge to push or just feel kind of like mm, something else is going on in there I sort of feel like pressure sort of feel like I need to push sometimes sometimes that can indicate that the placenta has separated also uh, when the baby is born and generally will be put you know in arms of mom and um, the cord is often still attached. Now it really depends on your care provider if uh, when the cord is clamped and cut. Uh, years ago we would see regularly that the cord was cut very quickly upon birth of the baby and we're seeing more and more of uh, delayed cord clamping and we'll probably cover that in depth on another wheel um, topic on the wheel but to uh, delaying the cord, it gives us more time that we're allowing the baby to be attached to the placenta before we cut the cord. So if, if um, you're holding baby, the cord is still there and the placenta is still inside, you might the, your care provider might notice that more cord comes out, sort of drops down, and that usually means that the placenta has detached. So delivery of the placenta is really important because um, in order to stop the bleeding that happens 
uh, the uterus has to contract down. So the uterus is, you know, fairly large sized when the baby's inside with the placenta. When the placenta detaches, there is basically like an open wound. And what needs to happen is the uterus needs to clamp down and um, almost shrink back to, to um, a very small size. It's such a, an amazing feat to go from, you know, this large muscle that's holding the baby down to this, you know, orange sized uh, muscle. But what the purpose of that is really to stop that bleeding. And so the third stage of birth, while it might not be as exciting as the first or second stage, it is super important. So um, cert a couple things to know, especially if you are supporting someone, if your partner is going through birth, uh, remember that, you know, that really your care team is going to be um, very present and really um, active until that third stage is complete. So until the placenta is out and the, the uterus is clamping down properly, firming up properly, you might hear um, nurses or care providers talk about is your, that the uterus needs to firm up, become firm. So that is really what's happening with the, uh, after the placenta comes out. And um, sometimes if we are, if we see a hemorrhage, which is an excess loss of blood, it is during this third stage of labor. So our care team is going to be really present during this time, um, still looking to make sure that everything is going normally. And you might not notice what's going on if you're holding baby and you know meeting your new baby and um, everything. You might not even notice the, the placenta comes out or your care provider might say something like, uh, give me a little push or bear down a little bit to um, to birth the placenta. Now, if you have never seen a placenta or have would like to see what your placenta looks like, um, and and you might not. Okay, so it it is it's quite bloody. It looks a lot like a piece of meat. Um, you might have no interest in this at all. But I wanna just say that if you do have interest in it, ask your care providers if they can show you the placenta before they take it away or put it away. Um, it's something interesting and I, having, being a doula and childbirth educator and having conversations around this field, I have heard mothers and even mothers of older children, high school age children say, oh, I didn't even see my placenta, I wish I could have seen it, <laughs> which is a funny conversation to have at high school drop-off, anyway, <laughs> or middle school drop-off. But if you have any interest in it, talk to your care provider and say, hey, can I see the placenta? And usually they will pick it up and show it to you and maybe explain like this side was where the baby was, this side was attached to the uterus and that kind of thing. Um, also, if you are someone who is going to encapsulate your placenta, uh, that is the time to make sure that your care provider, you know, doesn't take your placenta away. So your support team should be on top of that. Make sure that everything is taken care of to take the placenta home with you or get it picked up for placenta encapsulation, which is also something we should, another topic we can dive a little deeper into on, on another uh, big bill of birth topic. So third stage of labor is very important because it is, the delivery and birth of the placenta and the um, firming up of the uterus. The other thing I wanted to mention that it can be surprising for people for firming up the uterus, it depends on your care providers, but a lot of hospital-based providers and nurses, their procedure is to, um, to do some manual uh, pushing down on your uterus to help it firm up if you push on it um, they, it can help firm up, especially if you have an epidural, you'll see providers are often pushing on it. It can be a little painful sometimes, it can be a little distracting. Um, the purpose of this is really to help your uterus become firm and stop bleeding. So it, if it is uncomfortable for you or um, bothersome because you're holding your new baby and you're like, why are you pushing on my stomach? Just know that you can always use your childbirth techniques 
I really recommend some real big deep breaths during the, um, you, you know, your uterus being pushed on, your fundus, the top of the uterus being pushed on. You can use your top childbirth techniques for this too if it is painful. And just remember that your care providers are doing this really to help prevent postpartum hemorrhage and, and really stop bleeding. So it's important, just sometimes uncomfortable. So third stage of labor. If you have questions about it or thoughts about it, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a like. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you'd like to have access to all the other videos or know when they're coming out. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for letting me share about the third stage of labor. Bye guys.